guys just you know welcome uh, to a little bit of a different thing that I'm kind of bringing here to the channel I know and I know the last thing that I like brought to the channel that was semi kind of like this was uh, the RNG series which I think I still have on the front page of my channel for whatever reason even though like haven't uploaded that in forever um, but I was just chilling and call and I just randomly grabbed uh, a battle using three mons at the bottom of the ladder and I was thinking about this idea called UU campaign so I'm gonna break this down to you guys real quick. So you would have three mods. Here I have Dialga, Palki, and Giratina. Obviously those aren't gonna be the mods that I'm gonna use, but the idea is I get to choose three Pokemon. And with those three Pokemon, I have to get a ladder match. And if I win that match, I get to choose one Pokemon, Pokemon on my opponent's team and bring it over to my team. So it's like, yo, I just went in there on your turf, I kicked your butt, now I'm taking your land. Like, kind of like that thing, if that makes any sense at all. So basically, if I beat somebody, I get to take one of their mons. But if I lose, I have to give away one of my mons. And, you know, if I do end up, by virtue of chance, getting more than uh, six mons, I can keep those mons chilling in the back, if that makes any sense at all. Um, this will more be of a, this will be like more of a pilot episode. I just want to see what you guys think of this because I honest, I honestly think it has a lot of potential to be a, a really fun series. Um, but I just don't know if it's going to be interesting to watch at all. I'm also gonna do live team building. So anyway, um, fresh, fresh slate. I don't know what to team build around right now. Um, I'm kind of thinking going Firewater Grass Core. Um, the only issue with that is that it's kind of hard to keep rocks off the field, especially in the first battle. Also, I started a fresh alt just because, you know, that's kind of the best way to do it. Just work your way up from the bottom. So, let's see. I have a lot of options for my first mod, and it's really going to influence what I build around. Um, so right now I'm kind of thinking in my head, Regenerator is going to be great. Because when you're switching between three mods, it really takes a lot of the pressure off of Pokemon. Um by what they need to check so if I can add regenerator mods that'd be great also if I could get a wind condition that'd be cool uh, slow king honestly seems like a really good first choice because um, it checks a lot of the meta right now pretty like relatively anti meta mon uh, just because it can like call mind on a ton of things um, so I'm just gonna go leftovers regenerator uh, calm mind slack off scald size shock there we go physically defensive we're gonna move um, the four in the speed to speed creep other slow kings and of course you got to go with the standard DSB nickname um, with removing the W anyway um, so now that we have our first mon I'm just gonna go ahead and delete Palkia and Giratina here second mon is this from Brennan slow king and yeah that Brennan just messaged me because he's actually chilling and call that's kind of what I'm thinking too uh, to be completely honest um, my only issue with that is that it doesn't give me any mints checks at all. Um, so what I'm actually really thinking about doing is going Slow King, Obama Snow, and Fire Type. Maybe Scarf Fire Type to handle faster stuff, because like my team would be really, really slow without it. Um, Scarf Moltres is an option if I do want to go if I do want to go that route, but that is like pretty subpar. Uh, another thing I could do, actually, like I was gonna say Scarf Rotom C, but um, doesn't outpace Mensa plus one, which is a little bit of an issue. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Slow King. Um, let's see, what can actually take special attacks? Because if Slow King is gonna be my physical wall, then or I could just go Spadef Slow King. Um, and just rely on like Slow King special bulk, um, or I could just go like Spec Slow King or something like that. Anyway, um, how, I, I don't want to draw this out for too long. I've only been going for like five minutes, so we're good. Um, let's see, something that could take knockoff would be would pair really nice with Slow King. Um, huh? What if I went Slow King Chestnut? And let's see, Slow King, Chestnut, and then Mence, Scarf Mence. I can honestly see that kind of working out. Um, except the fact that I'm really weak to Ice, which like is no bueno. But 
I'm gonna go Shao as my second mon, and like not choose anything that I had previously mentioned, uh, just because Scarf Shao is a really great mon. Uh, outpaces Mence at plus one, can uh, revenge kill stuff like Pidgeot, uh, we're gonna go Reckless, we're gonna go High Jump Kick, we're gonna go Knock Off, we're gonna go Stone Edge, and we're gonna go U-Turn, cause you know, pivoting is always great, um, allows me to get Regenerator back with Slow King, it can also like, take Knock Offs in a pinch for Slow King, which is cool. Um, I guess I could go, um, something like Mega Absol in that slot to Magic Bounce, but I would rather have a really fast Mon. And then, next, uh, priority would be really nice. Kind of thinking Entei right here. Um, Brennan, can you type in the chat right quick? Um, do you think that Slow King, Me, and Chao Entei is any good at all? I know this is kind of weird for everybody watching, but... <laughs> I just don't want to make like a horrible mistake and uh, end up choosing three mods that I really can't build around in the future. Um, actually, I'm going to go Tangrowth for the last mod. Um, you, you don't have a ton of things for Nitto. Yeah, that's right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Huh. What am I actually going to do? I'm, I'm about I'm about to never mind I'm not gonna do that that sounds like a trash idea I was gonna say I'm gonna go uh, CM CM Meloetta but uh, I just, it's just not as easy to build around I'm gonna go Obama Snow uh, over Scarf Shao and hopefully this doesn't take too long uh, I will leave a link in the description um, if you guys wanna change stuff up um, so I'm gonna go Ice Shard uh, C Bomb C Bomb <laughs> uh, Ice Shard, Seed Bomb, Earthquake, Swords Dance. Um, I'll just put that for now. I'll, I'll go back and optimize spreads in a minute. Um, 40 Spit FEVs on Slow King. Uh, clutch! I was going to do that, but Brennan's already doing it for me. We're just going to take that out of defense, probably. So that'll be 212. Um, no, that'll be 216. Plus uh, 40 Spit F. Clutch, Brendan. Um, and then I'll adjust Speed Creep on this for stuff like Umbreon. Um, and then we're, we're gonna nickname this the best nickname of all time, Geopolitics, because it's like a bomb around me, stuff like that, all those jokes. Ha! Uh, last Mon, uh, probably a fire type. Um, I'm gonna go Bulky AV Entei for the last Mon, because uh, it takes on Sceptile right now, which I have a mild weakness to. Not like big weakness, but um, Entei is also nice for picking off grass types, which are mildly troubling for that thing. So uh, I'm going to go Assault Vest, uh, sac Sacred, <laughs> uh, LOL Sceptile Weakness, yeah, I know. Um, speed, you got to hit him with that E-Speed, um, Stone Edge, Stone Edge, um, and then... Flare Blitz. Uh, we're gonna go to. This is a really weird spread, but I promise it, I'm not crazy. Um, then Adamant. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and optimize EVs real quick. Find our first match, and uh, I will uh, catch you guys when we're in a battle. I'll be right back. All right, we've got a game um, looking like SD Obama Snow can actually do some work this game. Really confident in the uh, team that I brought because actually um, looks like I can actually win this game. This is winnable. Um, probably going to go ahead and lead camp um, the Entei just because Entei can actually just Sacred Fire whatever leads. Um, if he does lead an Ape, then easy switch out. Ends up leading Cloyster. Um... I would kind of like this thing for later, not even going to lie, um, but I don't think I lose anything by Sacred Firing right here, because if I do get the burn, that's great. He's going to Shell Smash turn one, and say, I don't miss, get the burn. He, we hit, and we do not get the burn, which is a little bit unfortunate, so if he is King's Rock or if he crits me, that's bad. Um, actually going to calc how much this does to Cloyster. Um, Cloista, um, you, you, Shell Smash, versus, um, who's my, Entei, Entei is my boy, uh, <laughs> no, item, E-Speed is going to do at minus one defense, uh, 32 to 38, so it's a roll, um, but one thing I'm actually gonna do real quick is I'm gonna check, um, what is the suggested spread for Cloister, um, cause fairly certain this guy clicked it, 
uh, focus, sash, shell armor, whatever, shell, smash, icicle, icicle spear, um, rock, blast, um, whatever move we have here, we're just gonna go double edge. Uh, the suggested spread is fast physical sweeper, um, so it's a roll. Um, pretty sure people use naive, yeah. <sighs> See, I could go slow king here, but if I get crit, then I'm in a lot of trouble. Like, if I get crit with any of them, I straight up lose. Um, because I'm really relying on slow king here to beat stuff. Like, I, slow king beats Don fan, slow king beats shaman to some extent, as long as I get a couple CMs up first. Uh, slow king beats... Um, Gudra as well, so it like it beats four members. Um, what's Brenna's ghost? He's he's just missing E speed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click E speed right here because I can't risk uh, getting crit. If I get a high roll, that's beautiful. If he's minus defense nature, that's also excellent. Um, so we'll see what happens right here. End up getting a nice roll. Sl um, Cloister is down. That's very very nice for me to be able to pick that up very early in the match. Um, so even if he goes out into Shaman right here trying to threaten me, I am not worried whatsoever. Um, honestly, it's looking... Actually, once I get... Oh, he just left. That's beautiful. We're going to see... Actually, while we wait to see if he comes back, um, we're going to think about what Mon we could potentially add to our team. We already have a Mega, so... We already have a Mega, so this dude Beedrill is out of the equation. Um, we could go dual Fire types, which ain't actually bad. Um, we could go Gudra, which is actually kind of tempting, uh, because we're not really that weak to Fairy right now. Um, we're not weak to Ice either. Um, Gudra also gives us a Pidgeot check, but as Brennan's saying, Donphan would be good for spinning, uh, because I do have two Rocks weaknesses. Oh. Alright, how long have we been recording? We've been recording a cool 12 minutes. This will probably be like 20 minutes long. Hopefully two battles. So it looks like this guy is not coming back. Um, what if I went like best of both worlds? Actually, no, I don't really need um, more ice types. I was going to go Cloister just to shell smash past people for easy victories. Um, which is mildly tempting. But I'm going to go ahead and scoop up Gudra. Reason being is because I just feel more comfortable using Gudra. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add that to the team real quick. Just going to go ahead and add it live just because it's not that big of a deal. Uh, Gudra, well, of course, we got the nickname for this. Uh, get Gud. Um, item Assault Vest. Um, we'll go We'll go Gooey. You never know. Actually, Sap Zipper is kind of nice, though. Except we don't have a Grass Weakness at all. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and go Gooey. Um, we're going to go Draco, Dragon, Tail, and like, I'll be, I'll switch up sets sometimes during battles just to like, see what's up. This also gives us a nice buffer for special attacks, taking a little bit of pressure off Entei, which is always nice. Um, Dragon Tail, Draco Meteor, I don't even know what to run on this thing to be honest. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, uh, finish the spread, grab another one, and I'll meet you guys there. Okay, we got a team that actually looks kind of competent. You boy is a little scared. Um, Shao looks like it has a field day. Um, so that's a bit of an issue. But I feel like I can still win this game, to be honest. As long as I don't get burnt by Scald, which, you know, that's like a pretty big thing to not happen. Um, I just gotta beat Koba and weaken Houndoom to a reasonable extent where I can knock it out with plus two. Um, the plus two thing, the Ice Shard. Anyway, uh, his likely lead is probably going to be Xiao right here, so I'm just going to go lead straight away with Slowking. If he does lead with, uh, if he does lead with Houndoom, then that's unfortunate. Uh, he ends up leading with Donphan, though, so this is not all bad. I'm just going to go in Scald right here. Um, it's kind of a necessary evil to allow him to get rocks up. Um, like, it really sucks, not even going to lie. But if I win this battle, I'm for sure taking Xiao. Um, cause Xiao is just great mon. Do I burn? I get the burn. Look at that, it's almost too easy. Uh, 44 and 70 AUU. You better win this battle then. Um, let's see. What's my best play right here? 
just to stay in and take this attack probably. Um, I lose nothing by firing off another Scald, just being completely honest. Um, like, I'm gonna eat this dude for lunch. <laughs> he, how, how's this man gonna request a timer when it's just showdown lag? Come on, man. Anyway, um, so we end up taking out his first Mon right there, which is actually pretty impressive. Um, we'll see what he goes into next. I'm assuming it's gonna be something like Houndoom, which is pretty bad. <laughs> for me, at least. Um, goes into Koba. Why? I'm just gonna Scald. Like, I don't really think I lose anything by it. Like, do I need Slowking? Yes. Am I afraid of what Koba's gonna do to me? Not at all. Goes for the T-Wave. You're that kind of player. Uh, I end up Scalding, not burning. Rip. Um... I'm gonna go for the Scald again, though, because I actually lose nothing by it. Like, spreading burns with Slow King is probably my best play at this point in the match. Any way I can wear him down is going to be very nice, so. Goes for the Iron Head and flinches me, so this is how this, how this one's gonna be, ain't it? Um, I'm just gonna Scald him right here. Best play. Um, as he goes out into Mianxiao for whatever reason, um, burn? No burn. That's disappointing. Um gonna scald one more time because like I don't lose anything by it I can switch out a, a crit knockoff watch me get fully paired don't get fully paired burn Jesus um this is bad I need this thing too um okay so let's just think this through real quick um lost my win condition check <laughs> um camp I need for sure like, my, my, my last three mods, I can't lose. Um, I'm just trying to decide which one of them needs their item the least. Um, I could switch into uh, Obama Snow right here. Weather the knockoff, take it really easily. Um, but take like 25%, 25% with rocks. I'm not sure I want all that residual damage. Uh, may have to take a few scalds for my Lodic late game. Don't really want that interfering. Um, I could go into Gudra, lose my AV, which I kind of want to take on both Meloetta and Houndoom. That's not an option. Um, I'm going to go into camp right here. Um, no, that's bad. <laughs> Looks like I'm just losing Slow King right here. It's really unfortunate, but there's nothing I can do about it. Um, it allows me to go in and E-Speed uh, the next turn. Just pick this thing off. Um, really unfortunate, actually. Is that my best play, though? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go into Entei. Uh, because then, if I catch him slipping and he goes into Houndoom, then, like, things are beautiful. I can hit him with the Stone Edge as long as I don't miss. Massive threat to my team gone. Uh, really frees up a lot of room for your boy Obama Snow to put in some work late game. Um, honestly, I still think I can win this battle, as unfortunate as that crit knockoff was versus uh, Slow King. Um... Although we'll see. Like I he has I don't think he has any reason to save this. Unless it's regenerator. But even if it is regenerator, I mean it's just S D fodder. Goes into Koba. This was not the play. Um if he T waves me, that's unfortunate. But I'm gonna sacred fire anyway. Um even if he wants to make like a double into the thing. Uh Houndoom. I just click Stone Edge versus that. It's not an issue. <laughs> Uh, hopefully he lets me kill this as he goes into Houndoom. Like I said, not a problem. I'm bulky AV, so as long as I don't miss, I'm good. Um, I'm actually going to calc this real quick. I assuming Shodan didn't already make my move for me. Um, I need Entei. Entei UUAV versus um, Houndoom Mega. Oh, you nasty plot. E-Speed will not to it KO. I do need a Stone Edge hit. So I'm going to go for that uh, right here. So, oh man, I'm nervous, because I need this to kill, really bad. If it doesn't, like, if this doesn't hit, I think I lose, because um, he may be able to just 2-it KO me with a Dark Pulse from here. We'll see what set he is. If he's Nasty Plot, um, and I miss a Stone Edge, then <laughs> the salt shall rain shall rain down from thy heavens. Anyway, um, actually, I see a potential setup opportunity late game with uh, him lo being locked in the Hyper Voice, and I can come in with a Bomb of Snow, click SD like a million times, as uh, I just refused a Mega Evolve from that point forward, and I can uh, go from there. <laughs> 
as he just ends up going into my Lotic right here, as I do end up missing the Stone Edge, which is pretty unfortunate. But now I just go into Gudra, and I can start phasing his team around a little bit, which is actually really cool. Um, so, get good. Don't burn me. Sick. Uh, I'm going for the Dragon Tail right here. Uh, if I can just get this thing out of here, that's wonderful. Um, I can kind of scout what his switch in is going to be for this, which is even better. He goes for the mirror coat. Get out of here. I'm physical, boy. Um, it, out new is Meloetta. I don't necessarily like this, um, but I'm just going to click Draco. Because uh, it's just annoying. <laughs> um, we'll see, though. We'll see what happens. He goes for the Relic Song. Don't put me to sleep. Doesn't put me to sleep. Gets hit with that Draco. Chewed. <laughs> um, looking like... look. Yeah, looking like I'm just clicking Draco right here. Because even if he CCs, then it's like, you know, what can you do? Although, it'd be pretty funny if he's just, like, Specs Relic Song. Hopefully he is. If he goes for the CC, ends up knocking me out. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But, um, that means I can't knock. Like, I can go into a Bomba Snow and knock him out right here. But I would like a Bomba Snow at f as full health as possible. Um, cause there is a scenario where he misses Fire Blast with, a uh, Houndoom, assuming he's running it, like, there's no guarantee, um, but, you know, we'll see. I feel like I'm gonna lose this one. Not entirely attributed to Slow King being crit, like, it, don't get me wrong, it sucked, but I didn't really have anything to switch into me and Xiao at that point, cause Slow King is my stop to fighting spam, so, uh, do end up knocking out Meloetta right there, which is very, very cool, um, and we'll see. We'll see what goes on from here. We shall see. He goes into my Lodic. Um, he has no reason not to call it right here. And I know that. He knows that. Um, if by some miracle I do get up to plus six, is that even going to knock out Houndoom? Um, Mega Obama Snow. Are you Swords Dance? Uh, plus six. Ice Shard is going to two at KO. That's cool. So as long as I dodge a few burns, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and Sacred Fire right here because I feel like it is my only play. I kind of have to go for game at this point. Um, do not get the burn as he is not able to knock me out. So if I get the burn right here, that actually puts me in a pretty good position because it may force him to recover. I probably won't Mega Evolve uh, just because I will want the speed to probably outrun my Lodic. Um, I butchered that spelling. Never mind, that's base 81. I don't think I can do that unless he's minus speed. Get the burn! Um, I don't get the burn as he just recovers off the damage. So come on, Entei, you can do this. If Imagine if Entei had Serene Grace. That'd be horrible. Or if Jirachi got Sacred Fire. Rip. There's my burn. That's what I wanted. Forces in the recover. Look at that. Legendary. I'm going to go for the Stone Edge crit right here because I feel like it is my play. Um, that did 35%. I'll take that. Um... Because this forces him into a mildly unfavorable position. Um, feeling like I'm going to lose right here, but it's okay. I fought valiantly. And I'll probably grab one more after this, because three matches seems pretty fair. Pretty fair. Yeah. Um, actually, you know what? I'll just Mega to get my extra bulk. Click SD. We'll see how it goes. I could go for the EQ if I'm real, but not that real. He goes for the Mirror Coat. Fails. Okay. I mean, if you're intent on choking the game away, I ain't gonna stop you. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Seed Bomb right here. Hopefully he goes for the Scald Doesn't Burn Me, or he goes for the Recover. Either one works. Oh, this is intense. Come on now. Go <laughs> Haze. Rip. <laughs> um, it's fine, because EQ will actually kill both of those things. It's just a matter of if he's bad. Blatant Seed Team, <laughs> pretty much. Um... Although, Ice Shard picks off Xiao, so if he T-waves right here, this could be a choke. Um, I need him to T-wave and not like Iron Head or CC. Um, and I need this to do damage. He goes for the Iron Head. Don't flinch. That, didn't, that did nothing. Um, so that's going to go ahead and wrap up that battle right there. Uh, back to the lab. we got to decide which Mon we're cutting right here. Um, probably going to be Gudra. <sighs> Not gonna lie, Don Fan would have been nice right there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and grab one more. Um, hopefully this won't take too long, and we get one immediately. So 
Alright, this guy's team does not look beatable at all. Not even gonna lie to you guys. Um, only way I see myself... Like, I struggle with this thing enough, man. Um, only way I see myself winning is weakening Infernape a lot. Uh, getting rid of Kofag somehow. Uh, maybe with CM Slowking. And just running over his team with uh, CM Slowking. So, um, leading with Camp. No, because he could lead Arrow. I'm going to lead Slowking, because it beats, like, all three of his... It doesn't beat all three of his leads, but performs well enough, so. That is indeed the goal. Slowking's under a lot of pressure right here. Um, he ends up leading Kofag. Okay. This is bad. <laughs> um, I'm just going to fire off a Scald, because I want to scout how much damage this is going to do. If I get the burn, that's wonderful. I really need the burn. Uh, burn? Hey! So he just ends up going for the Wisp. Uh... Not, not gonna lie, getting burned sucks, but that may be a blessing in disguise. Because what that is gonna do is it really allows me to beat Amoongus 1v1, which would otherwise be mildly troubling. I'm gonna go into Entei right here as he goes for the Kanok, uh, the very weak knock. And uh, I can just fire off a Sacred Fire right here, I think. It's not gonna do a lot of damage, um, but seeing as this thing's only form of recovery is Pain Split, um, I'm fairly certain I can take it on. Um, but we'll see, though. We will definitely see, because half been proven wrong before. Um, yeah, he goes for the paint split. That's you're just annoying. You're just and you're you are actually just obnoxious. Um, I'm gonna go for the sacred fire right here because, you know, I feel like it is my best play. I can spread burn. <laughs> As he goes for the shadow ball, that did nothing. Um, and he is in range of sacred fire, something I don't miss, which I missed before. So. <laughs> um, Gonna go ahead and go for another Sacred Fire right here. Hopefully it pans out. Um, I guess another way I could, like, theoretically get him is if I EQ on the switch to Ape and knock Ape out early, which allows me a lot more opportunity with uh, Obama Snow. So hopefully that is a thing that I can pull off. Um, if not, then unfortunate. Goes into Ape right here. Um, probably just gonna sack this for e speed damage because it doesn't actually do a whole lot for me for the rest of the match. Like, yes, it does break down um, Amoongus, but so do the remaining two members of my team. So, just gonna go for the e speed right here. If he gets up his rocks, like, that's unfortunate, but it's not like the worst thing in the world. I can live. Um, we'll see. We shall definitely see. He'll probably just, like, go for the mock punch, like, choice banded. Quick Claw, Mock Punch, gotta go super fast, um, come on friend, make your move, you can do this, although having Kofag gone does help uh, Obama Snow a lot, not even gonna lie, um, because if I do get up a pair of SDs versus something like Snorlax maybe, as it's trying to like, if I can get it on a couple of poor sleep talk rolls for him, he goes for the CC, which is fine, uh, we live in. <laughs> I'm gonna go into Slow King right here and fire off a Psy Shock because it is my best play. It will donk the uh, Amoongus on the switch in, which is kind of troubling. Not even gonna lie. Um, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for that. Uh, I highly doubt he's not. Like, I highly doubt he's anything but Choice Ape. Um, or he's just Sash. But I feel like he would have led if he's Sash. But this is also a low ladder, so. Um. I hope you guys are, like, enjoying this pilot if you have made it this far in the series. Um, please tell me what you guys think about this in the comments section below. i um, not sure if I stressed that enough at the beginning, but I really want to know because I feel like this is either a series that is going to be just really dumb and really stupid and doesn't really have a point to it, which it probably is, or it's going to be a series that I think can, like, be something I do really uniquely on the channel, I guess. Um... Because these just have so like limitless possibilities. Uh, as Psy Shock does a lot of damage. On point. Um, that that's looking AV. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. Uh, I'm just Psy Shocking him again. He is actually faster than me. I'm disappointed. Um, as that does not kill. Uh, I'm in range of Crit Giga Drain, so I'm gonna go into Obama Snow. Um, Mega Evolve, knock him out with the Ice Shard. Standard fare. Um, also get regenerated with Slow King, which is nice. So he does, I was worried he was going to go for the sludge bomb right there, but thankfully that does not happen. Uh, I'm going to be able to ice shard this thing right here and uh, send it to the land of Rip. Uh, if I do end up beating this guy, 
Um, not gonna lie, adding Amoongus looks pretty nice because it gives me double regenerator core. Um, gives me a few decent options. Although Scarf Shao would be nice because looking at his team right now, um, if I did have Scarf Shao, uh, now that I got rid of Amoongus, it's like I would click high jump kick and win. There are no two ways about it. Um, he has a couple options right here. The first of which is to go into Mian Shao. Actually, getting up hail is going to kind of suck. Because then I'm going to be losing 12% per turn um, from burn. As he goes in arrow. I don't think this was the switch in. Um, we're going to go in Calcate right here, though. Versus Mega Arrow. Oh, you stall breaker. Ice Shard. Is, no, that's a plus 6. Help me. That is not what I'm at. That does not do nearly enough. Um, have a couple plays. First of which is pray that he misses, um, an SD, which is real. Um, the second of which is to go into Slow King and hope that he goes for an Aerial Ace. And I think that has to be my play right here. I don't think I have any other option. I can fire off a weak Scald from there. Um, but I think it is going to take some luck for me to win. We'll see. We shall see. Uh, so going out into Slow King right here. As he stone edges, ow. Okay, friend, you gotta miss. You have to miss. If you don't miss, I lose. That was kind of risky going for the stone edge, not even gonna lie. Like, it, it would have killed me, but. Um, I just don't, I just didn't think that was his best play. You know, it's fine though. That, that's why I'm not making the moves for him. Uh, I can SD if he does end up missing, and I think that's going to be the play that I have to make. So if, so he's hit two in a row. Odds are he's going to miss this one. Odds are. The keywords. Um, so, got to go ahead and hit him with the SD. We'll see what happens. Um, hopefully that Stone Edge lands right here. Although, if he's smart and calcs it, um, his best play is actually to Aerial Ace. Because I don't think I can knock out Snorlax with the plus two Seed Bomb anyway. See, he hit, hits three Stone Edges in a row. So... Uh, a little salty, um, you know, we'll see what Pokemon I kick next, find out next time on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, but anyway, uh, that's going to go ahead and wrap up uh, this pilot episode, uh, if you guys did enjoy and want to see more of this, uh, t tell me in the comment section below, because I'm more than happy to record this, it's actually kind of fun, it's hard, it's really hard, and I may have to make some changes for se potential season 2, because I can already tell you right now which mod we're replacing, and it's going to be camp, uh, or which mod we're getting rid of. It's going to be camp, so we, it's down to these two now. Um, hopefully we can pull through, get some mods. But anyway, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.